There's a lot of literature that emphasizes the importance of the family and how the children develop and then what their options are as adults. And that literature finds that there are statistically significant effects, but those effects may not be very large. So what we try to do is try to understand how large those effects are and how much improving the situation of the parents will end up improving the situation of the children when they become adults. There's two important kind of policy implications, I think. Firstly, we are, we should be interested in the welfare of the parents. So we do want to make life better for the parents. Somehow we want them to have more income, more consumption, more options. But, and this is the second point, doing that is not going to have a huge impact upon the children when the children become adults. It will have some impact. It will have some impact in the desired direction. If we invest more in very poor parents, their children will be a little less poor. But the point is, it's a little less. And therefore, we have to explore other policies that directly invest in the children, that directly affect their schooling, directly affect their health. We cannot count on working purely through the parents, through the parents' education or the parents' income.